Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie unboxing. Today we have got the Barbie Life in the City Brooklyn hair play doll. Now, she is very cool. She comes with an exclusive outfit, some cool hair accessories, a bonnet, a bunch of little like hair charms, some tie-in extensions and braids, a couple of new headbands, and some slippers. Most importantly, she comes with a case to put all these other accessories into. Now, if you follow my channel, you know I am shit at hair. <laughs> like, I won't be able to do this to save my life. <laughs> but She's a really pretty doll just on her own, which is why I waited until she went on sale. She was a, I want to say she started off at like 24 and I got her for 12. She may have been closer to 30, but I know I paid less than $15 for her which is why I was worth it, because she's got such a cute face, and I love seeing Brooklyn with freckles, and she actually has the crimped hair, which is really cute on her, because I don't think I have that hair texture for Brooklyn yet. So that's why I was willing to get it. <laughs> because if you follow my channel, you know I cannot do hairstyles to save my life. I'm very bad at hair. Um, so... <laughs> um, we are going to show her off. As you can see, she has got a couple of different things going on over here. Lots of charms to put in her hair. She's got some rubber bands. She's got some slippers. But I'm actually digging this romper. It's super cute on her. But she, of course, is going to get rebodied and added to the collection. And we might restyle her with a couple of things that we've pulled right lately. So let's take a look at everything she comes with. So here is the back of the box, which shows you a little bit more of everything that she comes with. So you can see it's kind of how everything's set up in the little, like, uh, little case. It does advertise that it takes two cast up there, and we get um, seven tie-in extensions, which is really cute. And we also get this little, like, threader for our beading because you take this little hook and you wrap it around the hair that you want to put through the bead and then you pull it through, I think, I hope. I don't know, we'll see. I might try a little bit. Here is the UPC for you guys with the item number and everything in case you're trying to find it in stores. This is a discounted thing already, so I don't know how much longer she will be in stores. I'm gonna take her out. So you can look at her without the glare. Sorry about that, y'all. My hand went way wild. As I was worried about her falling over, I was not worried where my hands were flying. Um, so here she is out of the box. As you can see, we've got these big beads. We've got some like twisties. We've got more standard beads. And then two different sizes of rubber bands, which are basically our hair accessories. I'm actually going to hold on to that box a little bit because it shows you how to set it up um, with these. So most importantly, we're going to open this side first before we try to get this stuff out. Uh, just because otherwise it's going to be wild trying to get her out without beads flying everywhere. All right. So first and foremost, we're going to take Miss Brooklyn out of the box so that way we can get a little bit of a closer look at her oh she actually doesn't have any staples in the back of her head she's got a little bit so this is the hair texture it is crimped it's very cute not too much of an indent there but really cute. If you notice, she actually doesn't really match her body. Like, there's a pretty big skin tone difference between her body and her face, which is a little surprising, but she's really cute. So, we're gonna set her off to the side. 
And the first thing that we're going to cut out is her bonnet. So, we've got, I don't know why we have a billion of these in here. There's so many. I think those are, I don't know. Still some that are connected. got a billion little holes here on the top. So we're going to cheat that to the back. Oh, no, there's some more down here, I guess. Oh, no, those are just stuck. Okay. So that's how we put her. Let me show you how we put her hair in. So we will just grab her hair, put it in that bonnet right there. Try to keep her hairstyle as it kind of looks, sort of. I obviously have never had long hair like this. Kind of like that. We really want to twist that seam towards the back. Ideally, this would be a silk bonnet, but it's not very silky. But it's super cute like that. And we just put her like that, ready to go. She is ready to get ready. Uh, and so our next move is to get all of these little accessories out. Okay. All right. So the most important thing we've got is our case. So this is where we're going to put all of our hair accessories because what we don't use on her, we can use on somebody else. And thank God there are instructions. <laughs> Let's see if it tells you how to style things. Oh, good, it does. Okay, so it gives you a couple of hairstyle inspirations. So rubber bands and braids. Oh, I was supposed to twist, that's why. Uh, so for these, we just hook and then pull through like I thought we did. Okay. So, okay, well, not really as helpful, but still very cute. A couple of inspirational hairstyles. I don't, I think they gave her way more than we actually got in that one. But I will hold on to this. Maybe I'll uh, rubber band it to the other side of the So here is our little hair thingy. So we just get that in there. And it's got two sides, a little crochet hook kind of thing. We've got a little squirt bottle. Pretty well detailed. I don't remember seeing this mold very often. We've got a Barbie hair dryer. We have seen this one pretty frequently. Every time we get a bathroom set, we get that. We've got a little shampoo pump. Not very unusual. We've got a hairspray container. This is uh, one I don't see very often. So that's kind of nice. We always get some of these. Usually they have sunscreen on them, but this is nice because it's just like a regular like little squeeze bottle. Uh, this is one of the newer ones. I feel like, because it's the cream container, this one doesn't open, which is okay, it's fine, but it's just not as, uh, not as helpful as some of the others. Okay, so let's see how this works. Okay, we're gonna try to get this off without sending beads everywhere. That's my goal today. I don't wanna chase beads.
do this the old fashioned way. And try to get it fully loose around the edges. got our first ones out. Set those off to the side. This one is... those out. That's everything that's going to jump away from us, I think. Okay. All right. I'm pretty sure that's it. So, I'm going to take it all off now. So show you everything. Okay, so we do get this little flower crown. I like this because it actually like claws into the hair and it's pretty well detailed. Like this is cute. Not necessarily um, would I consider styling a doll like this, but it's cute. It's a good piece and I'm excited to see them kind of try to use this again. I'm surprised this didn't show up in the Totally Hair Dolls because it's got a very 70s vibe to it. But that's okay. We've got this little plastic covering that's covering up all of our... Uh, all of our little tie-ins. So we've got one that's like yellow hair. Otherwise known as blonde. We've got a little braid that I remember seeing those braid colors on our uh, Barbie Extra with the jean jacket. We've got a couple of, this is the blue tie-in. Now normally when I get these kind of things or like the plug-ins for the color reveals with the little holes in their heads, I'll just save them so that way I could do like highlight reroutes if I need to. Because just use a little bit of this along the hairline makes highlights. So that's very cool that those come with there. Or that those come in there. And then we've got the little, I think these are supposed to be bento knots, like braids. And that's a cool way to do that. You could very easily hide this amongst the hair to make it look a little bit more uh, blended. Now we've got a wide tooth comb that's the bristles are not very fragile. So this is actually pretty good. I'll keep that. Normally I don't even bother keeping the, um, <sighs> the Barbie combs that come with them. Here are bunny slippers. These are slightly different than our other bunny slippers that we've gotten. So that's nice. They do just say Barbie on the bottom, so they're probably going to work for both of our um, original and curvy feet. Okay. So now we've got these. They look very cute. Little bows. These would be great for sticking on the top of ponytails kind of things because they have the clips that go in. So let's set up our little thing. Okay. Which way is the hinge? On the other side? Okay. All right. So they, so we have like, Five compartments in here. So it looks like I've got this itty bitty picture to guide me. 
to show me thing where things are planned to have gone. And that's where we're going to put them. Okay. So the easiest part is going to be where the extensions go. Right here. We're in the how you set up your bucket or how you set up your client tray kind of thing aspect of it right there and we put our hook right here in the middle and then we put our rubber bands over here our big rubber bands and our little rubber bands the rest of our beads will go right here. I was doing so good until this, until I decided to do it that way. I lost like four beads to my floor, but it's okay. They're bright colors. I'll be able to find them, hopefully, amongst the chaos of my recording area. Maybe, possibly. They've rolled as far as they could. Okay. Right. I think I got them. Possibly. That looks like all of them now. Okay. More. I'm gonna call that good. And we're gonna learn from our lessons. And put these in by hand. Okay. So these are hard. These are not squishy like I thought they were gonna be. So that'll make things a little bit easier with pulling the hair through them. I thought they were gonna be rubberized. They're not. Just like that. And then we take our big shape beads and put them in the star. So you don't really have room for any of your other like big hair accessories, but that's okay. We have other spots for those. But now we have our little like hair tray set up and these aren't going anywhere now which is half the battle with a hair play doll. So that's everything that comes in it. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus the shoes, eleven, plus the bonnet, twelve, and the outfit, thirteen. So 13 regular pieces, I would call it. Plus we've got, um, we've got six of the hair extensions, which are pretty much regular pieces, and then a bunch of hair accessories. So this is pretty good. Now I am going Try to follow the instructions on how to put a bead in her hair. Okay, so what we're gonna do. Hmm. Okay. So you use the little hook end to separate out the right amount, and then you switch to the other end and you put the bead on through the forked end, and then you pull the fork through, and then you move the bead up. Okay, that seems easy enough, which means it will be extremely hard for my tiny, for my giant fingers to do. Okay, but I like the look of those beads, so we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to do it to where I don't knock everything over all at once. Oop. Okay, 
So what we're going to do, we're going to try to get just the right amount. Okay. Just like this. Yeah. And then we're going to go like this. Take one of these green ones and put it on like this one, though. And then we put it like that, and I don't think I got enough hair, but it's on. So that's interesting, but I don't think I did it right. No, I guess I did. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's how you do it. I mean, it's on. I need a little bit more hair than that to make it thick. Let's just say about, about this much this time. It's a little bit thicker. Thicker than a snicker. Let's try it again. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. I think. I don't think I got all the hair out. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's relatively easy to do, considering I can do it, which, you know, I can't do much when it comes to hair. But very easy to do, surprisingly. You just use the little crochet. I don't even know if you really need the crochet hook so much. Um, but it's really cute. So how did they do this? So they also have done the little hair things with the accessories by hooking the extensions onto the roses and the knots. So that's interesting, it's where you don't really have to try too hard to hook them onto things. All right, that's not bad. And again, that's how you're supposed to hook those uh, bows in there. So that's interesting. I'll definitely be saving this instruction. I might, I'm gonna have to um, rubber band it to the box most likely. But that works. I mean, it's not perfect for people that don't know how to do hair, but it's a uh, it's a right shot better than most things involving hair play with Barbie. And I like that they gave us a little, uh, whatchamacallit, I think I have a couple of other bead sets. Um, and I could probably use smaller beads also to give it more of a uh, true to scale size. But it's pretty cool. Now, as a hair play doll, I wouldn't have bought this because I'm not a hair play person, but you know, it is a really good doll. Uh, so let me show you guys which doll she is going to color match, just in case you're curious, because her body does not match, which I find kind of surprising. Um, so we have a couple of options. So there is this body, which is a pretty good match for the body she's currently on. If you want to do that one, I think this is the one I usually use. There's also this body, which again is not a horrible match for the body that she's already on, but is darker. 
than the current body, or is darker than the face. I think this one is a little bit closer to the face. There's also the petite, which I think is the same shade as the blue. But yeah, it's the same shade as the blue. So your yellow made to move top is gonna be your best bet for Brooklyn. But she's very cute. Um, the yellow made to move top is an Amazon exclusive. So you're not gonna find her in stores most of the time. So watch for those to go on sale. It's a uh, much easier way to do that. And Brooklyn is on a, I wanna say she's on a, one of those blocky ones, but she's not, she's on a different body style. Cause she's not on the original body style doll. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is the 2021 body. So this is slightly different. So when you put her onto the made to move, she is gonna be a little bit thinner than she was, which I'll show you guys how I do that. Uh, just in case, I know some people ask me how I do the doll head removals and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna just start showing you guys uh, on some of these smaller videos. I do it all the time on my fashionista reviews unless I don't have a good color match in stock. But you check to make sure your head is nice and soft. You can heat these heads up in boiling water, put it in a little plastic bag if you wanna keep the hair nice. Um, and then you just, once they are nice and soft, you push down until you get to like the shoulders or when they have this long peg, you're only gonna be able to get down so far. And then you just kind of wiggle your head until you get it off the little white plastic disc is generally gonna be your best way to do it. Now, I also trim these neck pegs off. You don't have to. I do it because it's not really necessary to have those be all the way up into the head and it's a lot easier to rebody your dolls again when you need to. Again, here's that color match. Pretty good. Again, Brooklyn's face is a little bit lighter than those. Okay, so Brooklyn has got a very hard head. See how I cannot, um, I cannot squeeze that head? Like there's not any give to that. So she might actually be on a different style neck because she also does not have any <sighs> lateral articulation, like she can't nod. So I'm gonna have to heat her up. So I am going to, <sighs> I guess grab some, mm. I'll pause. I'm gonna put this in boiling water um, real quick. I gotta use my kettle and it takes a minute to heat up. So I'm just gonna edit the video. But know that I'm going to put this in a plastic bag and dunk into some boiling water like that until the head is soft. And I'll show you the soft head when I get back. Okay, she is in the boiling water. Well, almost boiling. Um, this came out of my tea kettle. And so let's see, sometimes they don't come out super soft. Okay, there she is, now she's better. So now we're gonna try to get her off that neck peg first to stretch it a little bit and then pull it around, okay. So that is a different type of neck than we're used to. And that is the 2021 body. So as you can see, there's no lateral articulation. It does not spin at all. It just slightly rocks back and forth. And that didn't mess up her hair, thankfully. And so we're gonna just put her right back on. Same head material, she was just a little hard. Which means she should harden up nice and easy. And then we just pop this out of the way so we don't accidentally burn ourselves. 
Always be careful when you're boiling water. And we're going to put our little romper back on. Now, like I said, she's a little bit thinner now, so this romper might look a little baggy, but that's okay. We might take this and use it for another doll down the line. But it still looks pretty cute on her. And let me show you how her slippers fit on. Just like that. They stay on pretty well. But yeah. So now she is articulated, made to move, and ready to hang out with the rest of her Barbie compatriots in Barbie world. But again, this is the different neck style, which is kind of weird because these have updated legs that do the, um, they turn out a little bit more. So, I don't know. Bizarre. Barbie's doing weird things with necks lately. But just so you know, this does not have a super flexible neck. So that's about it for what we get. And let's see how we were supposed to put this into the bonnet. We twist. We put the bulk of the hair in there. And then we go like that. Just like that. There we go. That looks a little bit better. It's got just a little bit of it hanging out. And she's ready to go. She is ready for wash day. I am very excited to add this doll to my collection. We haven't had a ton of the wavy haired Brooklyns. I think right now I have straight hair Brooklyn, braids Brooklyn, purple hair mermaid Brooklyn, and this will be wavy hair Brooklyn. So I think I only have kept about four Brooklyns in my collection so far. But she's very cute. So if you are looking for another Brooklyn to add, you can get this one on sale for a little bit longer probably. Um, as long as Target doesn't run out of them. That's basically when they stop putting things on sale. So if you guys have any questions about this doll, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.